So today's lesson is on speed, distance, and time, the math part. So today I'm going to make sure that you can solve mathematical problems for calculating speed, distance, and time. First thing to know is what speed is. So speed is just the rate at which an object moves. So I imagine you've heard this word many times before, the speed of a car, the speed of an athlete. It's just the rate at which it moves. So let's get into the math part. The formula for speed is distance over time. So if I want to know how fast something went, or what the speed was, I need to know the distance that it traveled and how long or the time it took. And you just simply divide distance divided by time. Down here in this corner, you see a little triangle that I used to kind of help out. If you can use this triangle, it'll help out a lot, I think, with these problems. So I put a D, an S, and a T. It's important that the D always goes on top. That's the most important piece. So what I do is, with this triangle, teaching you how to use it, if you're looking for speed, what I do is I cover up S for speed. You can just cover it up with your hand on your notebook if you'd like. And that tells you the formula, distance over time. Distance over time is for speed. We'll do some more examples, so hopefully this makes more sense. For average speed, you're going to see that it's the total distance traveled over the total time. So it's pretty much the exact same formula. All right, so here's an example. You have a person who ran 30 meters in 10 seconds. What is his speed? So since speed equals distance over time, you would simply do the distance, 30 meters, divided by the time, 10 seconds, and you'd get 3. But the most important piece here is it'd be 3 meters per second. Sometimes it'll be 3 miles an hour, 3 minutes per second, whatever. The way you know it's meters per second is because you look back at the problem, it's at 30 meters in 10 seconds. So you need to make sure you look back at the problem so you know what units to measure the speed in. Sometimes we'll ask you to find the time instead of the distance. So it might say you went a certain distance at this speed, how long did it take you, or how much time did it take you. You can use this little triangle again, the exact same triangle, you just cover up the T for time, because that's what you're looking for, and the formula is distance over speed. So this tr triangle will help you know exactly what formula to use. Distance over speed, or distance divided by speed. Same thing. Let's do an example. So a person ran at 3 meters per second, which is a speed, because you see meters per second. Anything per seconds or per mile, or per minute, or per hour, is going to be a speed. So this is the speed at 60 meters. So this is the speed, this is the distance. So how long did it take them? What was the time? You would do time equals distance divided by speed. So distance 60 meters divided by 3 meters per second and the answer would be 20. So 60 divided by 3 is 20. And the reason you know it's seconds is because back in the problem they use meters per second. If it said meters per minute, this answer would be 20 minutes. So you need to, again, look back at the problem to figure out what the unit is. And the final thing they'll ask you is sometimes the distance. The speed was this in five minutes. How far did they go? What was the distance? So this formula is a little bit different. You put the same thing. You put your hand or whatever over the D because you're looking for distance. And since they're next to each other, it's speed times time instead of speed divided by time. So since they're next to each other, it's speed times time. So an example here, person ran at 3 meters per second, speed, and ran for 10 seconds, time, how far did they go? We're looking for a distance, speed times time. The speed is 3 meters per second, the time is 10 seconds, the distance is 30, 3 times 10 is 30, and then again it's meters. The reason we know it's meters is because right here in the problem, M stands for meters. If it was MI, it would be 30 miles. If it was FT or feet, it would be 30 feet. So you need to know what's in the problem here so you know what you need to use. 30 meters. Also, make sure that when you're looking at a problem, you can easily tell what it's asking you. So if it was meters, that's a distance. Minutes is a time. Meters per second is a speed. Miles is a distance. Inches is a distance. Miles per hour is a speed. So make sure you can look at something and know what it's asking for. Anything meters per, miles per is going to be a speed. And then as far as how far it can go, it's a distance. Minutes, seconds, hours will be time. All right. That's what I got for you. We'll do a couple practice problems if you'd like to continue this video. So speed equals distance over time. So distance is 20 meters. Time is 5 seconds. What is the speed? 20 divided by 5. You'll get 4 meters per second. Another practice problem. Time is 2 minutes, speed is 70 miles per minute. What is the distance? Distance equals speed times time. You multiply 2 times 70, and you get 140 
miles because miles is up here. And we'll go one more practice problem. Distance is 40 meters, speed is 8 meters per second, and time is the question mark. So time equals distance over speed. 40 divided by 8 is 5, and it would be seconds. So I know that this video was pretty quick with my examples. So by all means, rewind them, look at them a couple times till you understand it, do a couple practice problems on your own. But when you come into class, you have to make sure that I can give you a formula or a question that says what is the speed or what is the time or what is the distance. Make sure you can do the mathematical portion of finding speed, distance, and time. And of course, if you have any questions, by all means, come see me for any help that you would need. All right.